All right, I am going to be adding these two parts together. The video already was recorded, but I didn't properly use the recorder, and I am not going to go and do it again. Uh, this is to be used as an MK Ultra proof. Do you understand? If you're an investigator, if you're a police officer, you're going to have to go through what I have to say inside of this video. Word by word, millimeter by millimeter, you will have to go through and understand this video like a song. This is another MK Ultra proof I'm submitting. Uh, it's very, very important because it was manipulation involved in one. And this manipulation concerns what I posted under this post yesterday on dated post dated on May 11, 2023. Here is the title, a comment on a video which I also have posted. See, I wouldn't post this video which popped up under the name of the Princess Baira Kitiaba. I would not have created myself the problems. I posted a comment here and uh, next to this comment I'm going to create additional comment. And this is the comment that will be used as a proof of MK Ultra. Okay, so you're going to go through this post which I posted and this is basically what I have to say in addition to what I posted yesterday. Because this already was, the whole thing was already created. The only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play this. And instead of my face, I'm going to follow what I should have and did not demonstrate you uh, throughout this video until like 26 minutes or so now All right, this is just a supplementary video i am going to do on this post here that you see uh, it's titled princess by the was the one whom both king used to insist and so on and so forth um i don't wish her i'm gonna say anything bad because of the circumstances she had you see this stuff i still here on place and it's important to know, today is May 11 already. Uh, at least I'm allowed to enter this. That's nice. Using the Microsoft Edge. You see, Princess by the and so on and so forth. Then what I do is I scroll mm -hmm. down and on the bottom, the, right at the bottom, there is this video here, it's in case it's not going to open somehow over there on my website, it should, but if it's going to open faster on a TikTok, that's just uh, better. Yeah. Now, this is just going to be supplement to this video here. I, the comment about this, it's called Chash Story, the Wrecked Queen. Um, the comments, uh, Partially, I already have uh, submitted one right here. The young queen of Siam, modern day Thailand, Sunanda Kumara Ratana. Yeah. This was an American who was involved in MK Ultra since 1995. The young queen of Siam, modern day Thailand. One of the first Americans who was involved in it. And the king, Bumibol, loved him because of his dramatic uh, voice. You know. So, you want my comment about this video? I'm going to add to this just few more things, all right? I'm going to add to this stuff just a few more things. Um, King Bumibol claimed that the law had to be changed in respect to uh, commoners and royals, had to be changed exactly because of this example here, because of this queen uh, which lost her life. The uh, queen, 19-year-old, uh, lost her life. Uh, we did her two-year-old, and she had another child on her way. And um, really the last one is a result of drowning uh, on some river, somewhere in Thailand, yeah. But I want to be very precise about this uh, river in Thailand, yeah. Uh, because uh, a Thai king, um, Bumibol, uh, tried to be very, very smart with this video. He anticipated in a way, I'm going to produce one exactly the comment that you see here. And um, 
when I had to even video record me on this river, exactly on this passage through this river. Yeah, so the comment I left yesterday here was a very, very fast one. But today I am going to ensure, I'm going to make sure that I add to this comment a little extra, all right? Um, I'm going to put it this way. Hear me now. Uh, the first thing, I think it's, it's decent for me to just let this through. The young queen of Siam, modern-day Thailand, Sunanda Kumararatana, is known as the Wrecked Queen. Let me explain something. Uh, Siam, that was a king. This is uh, Jumbo's Bumbo Focus. Let me explain to you something more before we even get into this bullshit. The young queen wrecked, the young queen wrecked, 19 year old, the, the story, tragic story, but the young queen wrecked. How this bullshit all started in Thailand, where I was hijacked by the British Royals, by the Central Intelligence Agency, um, by Germans, by Berlin. If uh, you're not going to marry Princess Bayrakiti Abba, and or her sister, Siri Vanavari. Just so that you know, you're going to be blamed for wrecking the Thai king, queen. And this tragedy that this 19-year-old queen of Siam, therefore of Thailand, today's Thailand expanded probably to area of Myanmar neighboring Myanmar uh, was to be compared from 150 years ago was to be compared was to be blamed upon me compared to a tragedy of the princess Baira Kiti Abba whom I have ruined life according to King Booming Ball and her father Maha You're going to hear me saying that uh, I'm going to bring these people to the justice. That's what I want to do. I want to deliver these people to the justice. I want these people inside of the courtroom. I want these people on a stand to defend their lunacy. These people destroyed me 33 years of life together with the British royals. And I want this case to be processed by international institutions, courts, uh, so that we could settle this matter. This is comparable to the Hollywood shit you only see in Hollywood, basically. Mindlessness you can only see in the Hollywood movies. Silence of Lambs, I don't know, because I don't watch these movies. I never watch this Cannibal or whatever movies they produce in the Hollywood, because I don't watch the movies, so I action again. But it's fucking mindless crime. In the mindless crime went on for no less than 33 years. It started in Moscow in 1990. And it dragged along no less than 33 years. And the more advantage they took, the more damage, not advantage, but the more damage they caused to me, the more empowered, the more alive they felt they can go for it, basically. History repeats itself. I am not going to go, obviously, and do the forensic here on... These people are mindless, what the fuck can I say? Yes, it all started with my being guilty for destroying a princess by Rakiti Abba if I'm not going to, and it's basically by not marrying her in the future. In the future, this is when you're fucking dead on the graveyard. Delivered to the graveyard and thrown in the grave. Basically. That's in the future. This, in the future, this shit went on for like 32 years like this. 
man, where you produce sufficient amount of proofs that this shit exists, and then you become recognized. Then you become guilty for not marrying somebody as a commoner from the royal family because we were there only to help you out, to assist you out. And now what you're going to do is now you're going to fuck us. by not marrying one of ours and she's with you she would be a queen of thailand she was fucking trashed her father maha was the one who trashed her the last time he trashed her was when he threw her inside of the military for her to succumb to the heart problems and so on. With which, by the way, she was born in 1996, 1997, when she went on to study abroad. It was a British royals who already engaged in genocide against me for seven years together with the Russians and suggested me that the only thing that's going to save me is a Nazism. And the only wife who will understand me is the wife that is going to be fully committed to the Nazism. In front of her, they seek support for my asking them to do something to her so that she could adhere me, so that she could be more a Nazi person and something that will be blamed on a third person, something which British, through excessive amount of torture, abuse, already have accomplished by portraying me as several other victims whom they supposedly be destroyed and whatever was not destroyed or have them turn into a Nazism for my sake they have orchestrated one more crime, mindless crime like this maybe even in 1996 right in front of her to obtain statement from me this is how from her sense it all started because I promised myself to her in 1995 when hijacked from the United States of America. There was an agreement made between the Thai King, between me, between other Illuminatis that and her agreeing to that. Under age that time, yes, I know, I understand that, but I didn't know, you don't know when you're hijacked, uh, what age she is, you don't know. Uh, what what age the person is when you're when you're a hijack when you're drugged up and so but two years down the road when she went abroad to study that's how the how it all started and that due to her which they obtained right in front of her from me did turn into supposedly ordeal through which she was saved by using exactly what you are seeing today is written about her she is not a support uh the only one that saved her you know, that's how the british sold me uh, the crime could be possibly germans because it was supposed to be germans who arrived from bremerhaven or hamburg uh or they transferred her from britain to Bremerhaven or Hamburg, but they had some kind of uh, this machines, oxygen machine, all kinds of machines. They hook her up to that. Supposedly they couldn't save her in Britain, in London. So it was something like this, and they had to emergently transfer her to Germany. Uh, and so, because it would be Germany that saved her, she would always be loyal to me. This is how the British Saxe Coburgotha Windsors explained to me with completely her consent, with totally her knowledge, with her father knowledge, we were going to give me the fucking drama from her ends, not from her parents, from her parents who already started before crime against me.
the violence started already in 1995 when I was on a cruise line on a ship. A Thai violence I'm talking about. But from her end, it officially started like in 1997, yeah, with exactly what I stated. And it was nothing other than lies, yes. Everything was a fucking lie. Um, then it was for my end, for my good. Fuck, I had to do with it. Both sides of my family were in a national resistance fighting Nazi Germany. With brother from my mother even killed. With my grandfather obtaining a special medal for bravery during the World War II. Not for resisting Germans, but for basically being a secretary of the city, of the occupied city, where he managed to secure medications necessary for the partisans in the area that needed those to survive, to stay alive, basically. He bailed people back and forth like the fucking Schindler list that you see, the movie that you have seen, and in the end they fucking find me to run the fucking Nazi movement. No Nazi movement. Saxe Kaburg Gotha. Let's go and we're gonna. I am gonna go ahead. I'm gonna just gonna play this 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 thing again, All right? Because this is this is confusing and I know and but it's a big thing. It's a big deal. So it's worth it to do it again. Let's do it again. This stuff. All right, this is just a supplementary video I am going to do on this post. So, yeah, this is because if you're not going to marry the Thai queen, uh, Princess Baira Kitiaba, to whom, by the way, I didn't mention, I also wanted to marry her like 100 fucking times that I proposed her during MK Ultra. Like, when she got the fucking driver license in 99, she wouldn't want me, basically, uh, because I was too big, because I looked different. I wasn't fat that back then yet, just so terribly, but started to question my physique and shit. Is she has to get used to, I don't know, how I look like a uh, big and so on, and in the meantime, she dated guys over there at the college or the university and so on. In 2002, I ended with another guy, and so on and so forth. You know. She got like a fucking hundred proposals from me. She knew how to get proposals from me. That's the fucking thing. That's what was wrong with me. Every time she got affirmative from me, the only thing that happened was I was transferred back to Europe. Bye-bye. See you next time. It still works, right? That's all there is. And we got the United Nations, we got all the international institutions, and especially in Slovenia, everything under control. We own you. She alone stated this. This was a 33 years of fucking evil. And there was no place more evil, satanic, in Asia. All the source of evil, then Thailand was in Thailand, basically. Thailand was the one that spread like the whole circle of this evil throughout the Asia, connecting through other royals in area and pressing down on local governments to do nothing other than what I talk about under MK Ultra. So let's start this stuff again. I definitely not destroy Thai King, Thai Queen. Thai Queen, you're by the Kitiaba. Screw it up. You herself she did more than a dozen Times more than a hundred times, she fuck it up herself. Eventually, anybody, any of you would get tired of a woman like this. We got screwed over so many times. There are big chances you don't know what the fuck is right and what is wrong. Not that you wouldn't know anymore about what you want in life, but exactly what I stated. Let's go on. Let's do this stuff again. All right, this is just a supplementary video. I don't like doing stuff like this, but I'm going to do it. Here Make no mistake. See, it. uh, it's titled Princess Bayer Kitiaba was the one whom both King used to insist and so on and so forth. Um, I don't wish her, I'm going to say anything bad because of the circumstances she had. You see this stuff, I still here on place 
and it's important to know. Today is May 11 already. Uh, at all least I'm allowed to enter this. That's nice. A video. Using the Microsoft Edge. A comment I posted below. You see, for instance, by GTR and so on and so forth, then what I do is I scroll down and on the bottom, the, right at the bottom, there is this video here. It's in case it's not going to open somehow over there on my website. It should, but if it's going to open faster on a TikTok, that's just uh, better. Yeah. Now, this is just going to be supplement to this video here. I The comment about this, it's called Trash Story the Wrecked Queen. Um, the comments, uh, partially I already have uh, submitted one right here. The young queen of Siam, modern day Thailand, Sunanda Kumara Ratana. Yeah. This was American who was involved in MK Ultra since 1995, this man. One of the first Americans who was involved in it. And the King Bumi Ball loved him because of his dramatic uh, voice. You know. So, you want my comment about this video? I'm going to add to this just a few more things. All right? I'm going to add to this stuff just a few more things. Um, King Bumi Ball claimed that the law had to be changed in respect to... Uh, commoners and royals had to be changed exactly because of this example here, because of this queen uh, which lost her life. Uh, pardon my uh, <coughs> interruption here. This video also was used to suggest to King Bamiball to lie that to the broader audience, such as my parents, to the broader audience, such as other Illuminatis, but they fucking knew all about it. Only here in Slovenia, he wanted to and brainwash people, other people in India and in China and so on. Something like this that's necessary, so the law of the commoners can be changed. Okay, pardon me. Uh, that would be a marriage between me and Princess Bayre Kutiapa. That too, this video was actually to be used. The Queen, uh, this video was used at large for the brainwash, basically, not of me, but of the other people. Ten year old lost her life. Uh, we did her two year old, and she had another child on her way. And um, the last one as a result of drowning uh, on some river somewhere in Thailand. Yeah. But I want to be very precise about this uh, river in Thailand, yeah. Uh, because uh, a Thai king, um, Bumibol, uh, tried to be very, very smart with this video. He anticipated in a way, I'm going to produce one exactly the comment that you see here. And... Um, when I had to even video record me on this river, exactly on this passage through this river. Yeah, so the comment I left yesterday here was a very, very fast one. But today I am going to ensure, I'm going to make sure that I add to this comment a little extra. All right. Um, I'm going to put it this way. Hear me now. Uh the first thing, I think it's it's decent for me to just let this through. The young queen of Siam, modern-day Thailand, Sunanda Kumara Ratana, is known as the Wrecked Queen. Let me explain something. Uh, Siam, that was a kingdom of Thailand and I don't know what else, Myanmar today, not Burma. Burma is insulted to people from Myanmar because it's colonialism, it presents colonialism, exploitation, which Westerns somehow who were involved in it just some way somehow can't get over with. At the time of her death, Sunanda already had one daughter and was expecting another child. So she was 19 year old. Uh, she had a two year uh, child and she was expecting another child. Yeah, and she was 19 years old. And this was the king queen of the Siam, uh, bigger 
a state than what Thailand is today. Uh, the year that we are talking about, very, very important, uh, is 1880. So we, we are talking about roughly over 150 years ago. 150 years ago. Um, King Bumibal and uh, Father Maha, the, the uh, father of uh, Princess Bayadi Kitiaba, or her sister, let's say, uh, Suri Vanavari, uh, they have more, more brothers and sisters. Uh, there's a whole ocean of brothers and sisters that King Maha produced. Uh, King Maha is a son of King Bumibol. Uh, deceased in apparently in 2016. Uh, just letting you know, um, they took me to this location that you're about to see. In May 1880, when she was just 19 years old, she was on a trip to the royal family summer residence. So she was on a trip where? To what? Probably what? Bangkok or, or what? Uh, maybe Mandalay? Who knows? Mandalay is an extremely royal place, just so you know. She was on a trip to some place, whatever the royal residence was, yeah. To get there, they had to cross the Chow Phraya River by... Okay, so we're talking about the river known as Chow Phraya River. Yeah, so they had to cross this river by the boat. Understand? She was accompanied by Princess... Uh, Karna born another princess, okay, and of course with her two-year baby. Uh, and a group of guards and servants. Boat. She was accompanied by Princess Karnab Horn. Chao Praia River, as you see right there, that, that looks quite damn big, doesn't it? However, okay, uh, my mistake I need to fix immediately. She left, obviously, a royal residence to a, some kind of picnic someplace, all right? So what can I tell you, man? What the fuck can I say? I mean, you're king, and what the fuck is going on with you? I mean, you love your queen so much that you leave her behind. You go for a fucking picnic. Then you send your guards and your servants after her to bring her over. Really? So responsible, such a loving husband, so... What's up with that? Um, a King Bumibol who wanted to lie about this stuff. Um, it's actually even worse. Wanted to oh. demonstrate uh, what you see right there where the river is the widest. It's basically probably where is Delta, whatever is going to, to the sea or whatever the, the case might be, or to the bigger Oshery, bigger river, or whatever the case might be. Uh, I am going to just uh, let this video roll on, because I'm going to step him on a finger right in, maybe, behind the, the neck. This here is basically which, whatever river I did not even investigate. Oshery that uh, maybe goes into the sea, whatever the fuck it goes, or into a bigger river. I don't care. None of my business it is. Uh, is the widest. Okay? So this is just to state that since King Bumibol in a continuation I'm going to explain everything, right? Investigated personally all this stuff and had me along and uh, was sure uh, they could play me down by demonstrating world that I, my memories maybe lag behind or something like this, that I am not competent, aware of my surroundings during MK Ultra. Uh, probably wanted to use this video to do just something like this. Uh, in continuation, I'm going to explain everything. So this is very wide, as you see right there, but this is not what it looked like where supposedly she drowned. Let's continue. Next curve. Not even two years old and a group of guards and servants. 
The royal vessel capsized in strong currents, and her boat plunged into the water. You, do, do you understand? You see a big fucking wave right there? Yeah, you see that where? I saw that on the Miami Beach. I haven't even seen stuff like this along the Adriatic. Uh, only maybe if it's something like really, really rough, you would see something like this, yeah. So, a vessel capsized in a strong current, and her boat plunged into the water. None of the royal entourage proceeded to help them. No, nobody helped them out. None of the royal entourage proceeded to help them. And it uh, obviously, the one who documented this um, had a problem with his servants. Obviously, the one who documented this had a problem with his bodyguards. I am not saying that the problem could not exist. Uh, based on my own events, I can tell you that um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you that comment. I'm going to save that comment, that part, for the at the end for the end of the video all right commoners and royals you know um two different things in in the same world uh just as the man states right here ancient siamese law stated that no commoner was to touch a member of the royal family under pain of immediate death all right so if you touch you, as a regular mortal, if you touch the royal, you were immediately subject to the debt. As I stated, this was 150-something years ago. This is how the law was. If you touched one, you were subject to debt. Both capsized when she was on her way to meet husband, who already headed for the meeting, to a picnic or whatever it is. Uh, and along the way, the servants, uh, the bodyguards, uh, which used certain boat, it appears that, according to the video, were afraid to rescue Queen, 19-year-old Queen, her 2-year-old child, uh, therefore a 19-year-old pregnant with another child. With a, with a baby, queen, and her two-year-old child, because if they would touch them, even if saving, they would be sentenced to death. Uh, that's probably most likely correct, because I think that the king, that King Bumibol, the grandfather of the princess by Rakiti Abba, that you see right here, no, this is a princess of the Bayraki, Princess Bayrakiti Abba. This one here, not to be mistaken with the one that Google is deliberately to demonstrating. This is her sister, Siri Vanavari, for whom I was suggested that she could replace uh, Bayrakiti Abba in that I should just fall for her instead. Um, king Rama X, that is King Maha, Thailand Korn, and uh, Prince uh, King Bumibol, that was the father of her father, King Rama X, or King Maha. Yeah. Bumibol, when I say Bumibol, that is the grandfather who was the king uh, only since 2016. It's his son that have substituted uh, father uh, Bumibol. Father Bumibol, according to my knowledge, to be completely correct on it, to be like 100% on dime on it, From based on my knowledge, the way I know about this stuff, and it's just also the news that I have posted, it's what I was told by his son and by him alone, became tired of his own wife, his own uh, wife, basically. Uh, 
Okay, so now as you see, I am being blocked here from accessing my own blog uh, on a Microsoft Edge. Again, uh, they are doing stuff like this, and this is just really, really fucked up. This is very, very unpleasant. I am trying to accent proof, and uh, voila, I am being blocked from accessing my own page. So what I am going to do, if I am fortunate enough, you see how disturbing bullshit this is? Do you see what this is? Is this like okay for you? If you were a law enforcement officer, would you want to work, uh, work like this under this kind of circumstances? How the hell would that appear to you? And I am doing the work for the law enforcement. So because they dismantled the law enforcement to be completely inefficient in this case, I have instead to do the work for the law enforcement. So this is the circumstances that these bullshitters created. The lions as they refer to themselves. As you're about to see. Let's go. I'm using now a Firefox, that's a different browser, obviously. And I hope I'll be able to access the page through that one. That's what the Joe Biden is doing. Joe Biden have to excuse his uh, help. So this is the fucking blog I cannot actually access. Can you imagine this? The AlsatineBlogspot.com. I have to verify that I want to enter one, that I'm a proper age, and uh, then I'm basically blocked from accessing one. I have to use another. Uh, uh, it, it, how, how do you like this stuff? I mean, this is a proof about crime right here, the stuff I'm doing. This is a very, very exclusive way, ladies and gentlemen, to what it came to. But Joe Biden has to, uh, look at this shit. Joe Biden, so and the Firefox is going to let me through. Certain browsers, obviously, without the certain add-ons, uh, only will allow uh, certain posts to be seen. So this is, this is such a discriminatory... Uh, it's not a censorship, it's a censorship of genocide. So we are already entering the era, the age of censorship of the genocide. So this is fucked up. If you want... To actually access my blog, I see now, you actually have to log in so you can demonstrate your age. So this is basically what people involved since 1995, such as Sergey Brin and Larry Page, the founders of Google, went on to uh, assist British in a crime, in a, in a, in a censorship of genocide. So we, we, we are entering now not the bridge between the commoners and between the royals, but we are now entering the era, the darkest of the god, dark. Basically, we have witnessed during the World War II in Germany, let's say, where Hitler censored books, burned books from people and so on, so that it would erase their identity, their presence, existence, and so on. Let's repeat this stuff again. What's interesting is this is coming from all the way United States of America, the land of the free and brave, where the free speech is encouraged. And we have here what? No, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy it again this and if we are going to be lucky if you don't have a blogger profile obviously you are not allowed to even access this blog is that fucking wonderful what here i have to go and submit again request that i would like to log myself into a blog so you can imagine how i feel about the whole thing now so how would you like to work under this kind of circumstances? Do you know what I was told by the King Bumibol? Father of King Maha before he even disappeared. He claimed that he passed away because of the cancer. That I screwed him up and so on and this and that. But even before that, 
it became evident that King Bumibol became tired of his wife. This is the queen. So this is the father, Maha Vyalan Korn. Vyalan Korn. And then we have <coughs> parents, Bumibol, Abdullah Day, Abdullah Day. And um, supposedly he died in uh, October 2016. I hope he did not, but if he did, he did. And uh, his spouse was Sirikid. Before, in 2013, be in 2012, this man loved massage, spa, where the young girls worked, where the special services were delivered. This man alone stated, and you can bet they made a tremendous investment in Brazil. It was this man alone who complained to his son whom he introduced in all this stuff, of course, because it's his son, that obviously his thing doesn't lift himself up anymore next to the grandma. And guess what? He wished for, according to his words, according to words of even his own son, now King Maha Bailangankorn, a younger lady next to himself, or ladies. In other words, for the rest of his life, the papa wished to have a playboy life somewhere away. That was one of the versions. Was this actually the true? I do not know. I have no clue. I have no idea because there were so many people involved in it, so many ma manipulations. The possibility, however, exists. Because this King Bumibol became king of Brazil too. That along the money, along the capital that ran into Brazil to secure financial independence in case of rebellion in Thailand, that a grandpa secured himself also a life in Brazil, in South America, away from the grandma. That's a little different version, possibility, of King Bumibol, therefore grandfather of Princess Baira Kitty Abba and Princess Siri Vanavari. I witnessed, I witnessed, I participated, him fucking ladies throughout the Thailand when he still was traveling the Thailand, when he still was, they lured him to the villages throughout the Thailand where he would go to improve the infrastructures, uh, fisheries and all kinds of stuff like this, uh, to get the capital from the Bangkok. Uh, people found local girls, whatever, uh, and he used that to get his attention, basically. This is not a saint. This is a lunatic. This is insane that something is what I have personally witnessed. Work late in the night, and late in the night, warm himself with somebody else, basically, and continue to the next village and so on. It was like this, first hand. His daughter, Princess Bairikitiaba, and what Google already uh, prepared is the sister Siri Vanavari instead of her. They basically already covered her, and this is also how they wanted to, Illuminatis wanted to obtain my attention. They wanted to, to they all the time played with on a card, like, and she is gone, and she is gone, and she'll be gone. The video that you see here took past seven years for one to be completed, no less was repeated to me in my face on a million occasions. That's why how I will be the one who will wreck the, the queen and will be guilty for everything. Let's continue with the video.
is uh, signing that very strict law uh, just for touching a royal as a commoner. Uh, you were to be sentenced to death. So it's not difficult to, 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 to come to conclusion that this royal ladies um, I'm not going to say they were victimized by their spouses uh, but uh, there's a whole I haven't looked at the map but when we talk about the Deseum we are talking about both countries what you see right there is Myanmar and Thailand and what you see the red dot that's uh, Bangkok, capital of Thailand. So did you see Myanmar? You see it. Do you see Thailand? You see it. Here. Myanmar and Thailand, I think that's where the Siam was. That's what I think. They always had a finger on Myanmar. They always wanted the Myanmar. So let's continue. A lot of reasons behind all this stuff, you know. Um, the main reason behind you being sentenced to death if you would touch a royal obviously was uh, a jealousy. Obviously, husbands had a problem with that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm not going to say there was a promiscuity between the commoners and the royals, uh, which, of course, is a fact uh, that male royals ongoingly would jump into between the legs of the commoners, of the females. Uh, we're talking about some kind of a sick ideology here. Uh, not only sense of the insecurity in a male portion of this royals. Uh, this, unfortunately, these are not the only royals. This became quite contagious practice throughout the Asia. And it's somewhat in place even today. Um, when it comes to law breaking and stuff like this, um, do I have to talk more in respect to royals? I don't. Um, royals were prohibited from entering United Nations before I appeared on the scene. United Nations won't oh, welcome no royals, really. Uh, they wouldn't want to see them. Not too long ago, it was a Prince Harry who had his speech in there. He had his drama going. He took the stage. They started to take the stage. Uh, heads of colonialism, heads of the fascism, of the Nazism, started to take lead inside of the United Nations. Through my case, they managed to penetrate inside, using me as an evil commoner. for employees inside of the United Nations sake. So those open them ability to enter inside of the Uni United Nations. You know, you understand me what I'm saying? That's why the entire United Nations was heavily involved in it. And United Nations is going to have, like in an odds, going to have a heavy problem with me because of what I stated here. All three lives were lost while their attendants just stood and watched. Yeah, all three lives, right, were lost while their attendants just stood there, watched, uh, and they haven't done anything. Uh, and, uh, you know. After this incident, where three lives could have been easily spared. Calls uh, a 19-year-old, a newborn... Uh, not even born yet, alliance, which, of course, a loss of a single life is a tragedy, but this alliance. Compared with a little help, King Chualongkorn proceeded to improve. Just with a little help, uh, now, obviously, her husband proceeded to kill everybody. <laughs> prison the attendant who did not give any orders to attempt a rescue. The king greatly grieved the death of his spouse. The funerary procession that was accordingly arranged for the queen was possibly the most expensive funeral in the history of this Asian kingdom. That's what King uh, Bumibol 
wanted to look as emotional and as his devoted husband as possible and so on. King Bhumibol traveled Thailand from village to village where he would invest his efforts to help locals. But it was locals that would use ladies to attract one to get his attention. He was no exception to uh, jumping over the plot, uh, spending his nights after work with the ladies on a regular basis, for what his wife also knew. Uh, queen, princess, whatever you want. Um, he was subsidized by his son, who was next to the British royals, frequently encountered inside of the Bangkok jail, female jail, uh, inside of the uh, inside of the female jail, where they would engage in uh, sexual activities with the prisoners. It became known that King Maha would, and I'm sure that he learned this from somebody somehow, some way, would get families of a young females deliberately in prison, uh, their daughters, so that it would be a Thai royals they would meet inside of the prison system. It became a practice in a Thailand. I'm sure that these guys died inside of those prisons in the most terrible ways. I'm not saying that this king here was not a decent person, that he was not a uh, different than what the two individuals that I have this just described right now, but uh, the laws itself uh, did have what uh, King Boomerball referred to as to correct the mistakes and so on, this and that. Fuck that. Uh, there was no correcting the mistakes. Uh, it was just always looking for the curves, always looking how to cut the corners uh, with a commoners, basically always how to abuse and use commoners in the most proficient, in the most efficient way possible. So there was a language of these royals, fire royals was indifferent from the, uh, it was a language of manipulation. It was a language of lies, of zero sincerity. That's where my problem is with people that colonized the world, people that enslaved other races throughout the Africa, throughout the Asia, throughout the Southern America, exploited them to their full potential so they could conquer the world, uh, is. That's where my problem is going to be with the United Nations. Uh, centered into. I am going to have a speech inside of the United Nations too. It's going to be United Nations. They are hell not going to like this. It will come to that. Um, first of all, police, uh, first of all, I did not Google the location. The name of the river is somewhere, they stay here somewhere in the, in the beginning of this, whatever this was the name of the river. Uh, I don't care about the, the less data, the better I'm off. I don't want to see, I don't want to know about it. The memory does it for me, and the memory is all I need. The memory on events, the memory on the people, that's all there is. That's what I run on. Um, that's my strength. I don't care about it. Uh, whatever the name of the river is, I did not Google, I did not see, I don't know, I don't want to fucking know. Because the best about all is based on my memory. You see that's the, all there is. You see so the Tibet? The people are not going to be able to prove something. Yes, mountains here? That Mount Everest? Just based on, you know, they're going to say, oh, yeah, well, you did this, you did this. You see yeah, that stuff? I didn't. I never did. The and river the thing about Thailand is I never was interested to know the anything about Thailand. All this. In real life. The powers, the Thailand. That's just All the way this it is. Area here. It's just a, a beautiful place in Asia. Uh, you needed a lot of money. It was in my head to get there and so on. And the best thing is just to concentrate on my problems and have them solved. Yeah. Uh, and based on the trauma I experienced around this royal family, I had no reason to actually look for them in real life. You see this you, you snow here? what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. This um, snow? This river here that, that uh, first of all, 
I don't want to know where the river is. So, I don't care. By, 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 by a comment like this, that, that I have submitted like this, it would be a, a fire royals that could use this to actually suggest that that I don't recall anything from MK Ultra, you know, because it's stated here that it could have been a rough river, you know what I mean, that prevented the rudder from saving this lions, if you want to call this lions, uh, from drowning um, in, when, in fact, when with the police, when brought also to this location, on a million occasions by Boomy Ball, he would bring the granddaughters there, uh, me, uh, his wife, his son, Maha, and so on. They would go there and they would go for a, it was a day on a swimming. Yeah, King Bumibol was obsessed with this river. He was obsessed with this here, with this video here, with this comments here. They anticipate I'm going to leave. You know, this is, this is where the obsession was. This is what the obsession obsession was concentrated also on this here that you see here on this on this cages here with the alligator feeding and so on. With this, this is the shit they were obsessed with. Because some of this popped up in 2000. Some of this popped up in 2004. And I have written here beginning the 1995, right? Don't worry, it wasn't about, only about this. I know the rivers, based on my memory, where the crocodiles also are inside, and I know for every one of this, which one came to place when. So, but I see that that stuff triggered a lot of attention in somebody, you know. For well, what they stated me, they're going to read how much I, I remember in this and that. Well, what I would say to you is, the river uh, passage where they supposedly jump, even that is not stated anywhere where exactly they jumped, was the passage that for which King Bumibol suggested that you possibly could not drown and so on and so forth, uh, had me swim inside, uh, walk inside and back and forth. Uh, there, however, were areas where you could drown. Uh, it was much, much, much narrower than what you see here on this delta here that you see here. Uh, nowhere near could you possibly imagine something like this could take place, but you got to keep in mind we're talking about 150 years ago. All right, uh, here I am going to stop. The waves like this, where I was brought to the river, appeared that would be the thing impossible. Uh, where I was brought for a picnic with royals, the river was nowhere near as what you see here maximum maybe half whenever the river uh, intensified from the rain would uh, grow for about maybe I don't know a meter or something like this on uh, coming from the direction of the Bangkok listen to me very good because this river is located up north and I even assume that the delta the estuary where the river is Entering the sea is what you see here. It's actually Bangkok, what you see right there. Maybe, maybe not. The name of the river is the Seer. So this is important that I explain to you so that you understand exactly where we are at with this stuff here. I think that this is a modern Bangkok here that you see, probably. This is a delta, probably this is where it's going to the sea or whatever it is. Um, the name of the, ria, uh, of the river, uh, which video is referring to, is Chao Praia. This video takes King Bumibol about seven years to be released. Uh, King Bumibol had me walk alongside of him. God knows on how many occasions up and down the river where he was, as he claimed me, searching for a passage which would give one a possibility for a better explanation than whatever was left inside of the royal diaries in respect to the incident. He suspicioned that there is another location uh, because the location where this, this incident 
supposedly took a place. It was actually maybe even the third wine-wise. When compared to what you see here. Okay, the third of what you see right there. Possibility exists for that matter. So um, he walked alongside, I was next to him, across 30, 50 kilometers back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and he couldn't find one. Um, this, however, took place 150 years ago. I accent in this video. In 150 years ago, the Himalaya was uh, full of snow. It was nothing like we see today. You only see a little bit snow at the tops. The river that is running below our parcel is half dry. The river always was higher level water than what we have now, and this is all the water that runs from the Alps. Some people are going to say, oh, no, my God, this is from a fucking uh, local mountains, hills here. That's bullshit. It's always the top peak that supplies the water through the area. What you see, the Himalaya, the Tibet, and all this stuff, this is all the system where all the water goes into the water, is pure into other rivers, rivulets, and so on throughout the system for thousands of kilometers uh, as it goes. No? If you ever were in Florida, that's on the other side of the world, you will know the entire Florida is a river. Entire Florida, entire state of Florida is a river. Everglades is nothing other than river. And this river flows from here, from up north. And it's just the system that is done like this that goes straight through the Florida. Entire Florida, believe it or not. Crazy my sound is a river. The situation is identical when it comes to this area here in Asia. Whether that be hills, whether that be whatever it will be, it's always this stuff here that is securing the water that is uh, supplying rain, snow, uh, the water through. Um, Thailand is almost like a Florida, man. This is like a place with no hills. It's flat. It's a flat land, ex with exception of the north or with the border where the Minamar is. This river is up north. This river is located in Thailand. The passage where this stuff located. And as I stated, walked back and forth, walked back and forth, like insane. Eventually, I had him enough. No longer wanted to walk on the sun back and forth like an idiot. Uh, and come to conclusion that the boat could have not capsized. Uh, King of Thailand, Bumi Ball, came to conclusion that it was exactly the servants, the bodyguards, who have capsized deliberately the boat. And came to conclusion to some other issues and so on, uh, which he was afraid to even admit due to the degree of violence against me. Such as, let's say, that the king at the time, when the queen drowned alone 150 years ago, king was afraid to state in fact, that it was the servants, the bodyguard, who might have, have capsized the boat. That, however, most likely is not the true. Uh, these servants, these bodyguards, knew very well that for capsizing the boat, just as for the touching the uh, commoners, since this is what we use in their defense, at least is what the king insisted on, was, in fact, punishable by death. Yes, I'm sure that you agree with it. So these are the things that I need to clarify before we move on with the video. It's a very important MK Archer proof I have to submit. We walked the river. There was nowhere anything that would indicate a, a, a wider passage than in a in a in a in a in an area of about 30 kilometers, maybe even 50 kilometers that we walked. There was nowhere wider passage that could have been used than the passage where we uh, supposedly the queen drowned with her two-year-old 
and with her new uh, unborn. Yeah, nowhere near. So that must have been the only passage. Oh, that place could not produce the waves like this. Uh, it was nowhere. Uh, the only thing to, as an MKHR proof, I will state to you next to the statement that this is the widest location, that this is a very popular uh, attraction location where a lot of uh, locals and also tourists would travel for a swimming uh, to have a good time. If you go from the Bangkok toward north, therefore Bangkok is located here, south, and this uh, river is somewhere, uh, God knows, probably either where it says Nakhon or Savannah, whatever it is, uh, or maybe even uh, higher up, maybe, uh, maybe this Fichit or whatever it is. I don't want to touch. I don't want to touch. Uh, on the left side, looking up there, it would be almost like flat. It, it would be gradually that a river would, it would descend into the river. Yeah, gradually. It's almost uh, sort of flat, you know? Um, if you would... Uh, on the opposite, therefore on the right side, if you would be heading up north of the river, uh, the river bank, however, is more steep. I also have to tell you that on the left side, there was a village, and I came to realize upon my own investigation, observing, drugged up this location, that upon 150 years ago, if the river was to increase itself for two meters or three meters higher level, uh, it would mm, likely had a capacity to flood another, uh, God knows, maybe the area of maybe on the left side, it would be probably, I don't know, tremendous, tremendous distance. The villages would just disappear over there because it's all flat. Uh, we don't know what the weather conditions were. Uh, it doesn't say anything. Um, it's crazy when I get to see this here uh, because the passage where they supposedly drowned it was about something like this okay because this this increases the size and I am gonna say to you it was something like this and it was also like this that it was only on a certain location that the river would be deep enough to drown. Uh, so yeah, with ease, really, they could save her. That is true. However, not if the river current was higher. If the level of the water was higher, yeah, the whole thing would present actually a very dangerous situation. So based on this video, there is nothing, 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 no conclusions that one can make. Let's continue with this stuff. That was important stuff for me too. So do you understand, going from Bangkok, the riverbank on the left side is more, um, I am going to actually even use this stuff here to demonstrate what it would be like. Yeah. I hate because it's so slow, so, yeah, but okay. I'm going to give you a profile, you know, the profile of the river, the profile of the riverbank. We gotta do it like this. We gotta do it like this. So it's like this, basically. Now let's see this stuff here. It would be something like this. Yeah, you understand? So, going from Bangkok on your left, as you see, it's gradual or gradual um, leveling into the river. Yeah. So, it would look like something like this, or like this. You see this? It would look like this. On the right side, however, if you go from Bangkok, the river bank looks more like steep.
So this is the stuff you go will give me a credit for MK Ultra. Okay. Um, how much of a difference does it make if the if if, if the level is like uh, up, like uh, you're talking about like what what it would be like if 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 it would be like one meter and stuff like this? Man, I don't know. That would be fucked up. It would look a uh, totally totally different situation. Um, then I think. If it's a lot of rain and stuff like this, I think there is no swimming and stuff like this. It turns into a completely different uh, circumstances. That's at least what I was brainwashed with. Uh, if you work to continue according to my own uh, investigation, the, the area toward uh, this direction here, there is a village and a very, very flat land. And I inspect, I suspect, if the water level would increase to about probably even another two meters up, uh, it would flatten maybe all the way to inland, maybe another, uh, God knows, okay? Maybe, maybe this would even go probably to, uh, I don't know, maybe another kilometer under the water. From and the video is 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 it's impossible to uh, make for me any kind of blah 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 conclusions. Uh, there is a conclusion. The only thing I can tell you is this is not really. This is what King Boomyball came up with to convince people, as I stated, into something that really destroyed me. Thirty-three years of life let me with broken health, destroyed, demoluted, annihilated. And the Princess Baira Kitiaba is a saint, whom, by the way, they have used, I was suggested, as a hostage. <laughs> but um, I explain everything in continuation. Let's go on. Weather conditions in the Himalaya and everywhere were completely different. Yes, this is the river that... Um, Thailand, knowing the Thailand geography, Thailand uh, never ever was a perfect place for me based on my fishing habits, based on, on my fishing needs. There was only one place that made, uh, should make impression on me, and that was inside of the uh, sea, um, where Thailand has a sea also, ocean. Uh, but when it comes for the rivers, it's all flat and it's more like a ch channels. It's not a lot of rivers in Thailand. It's not very a uh, uh, place where there will be rivers and fishing and stuff like this. It was more Myanmar, the one that had these beautiful locations that I like for fishing and the rivers and so on. Well, I frankly disliked fishing on the sea. I, uh, fishing on the sea never really appeared to me. Even though I lived inside of the Miami for 11 and a half years, river fishing always was the thing to me. Uh, and guess what? Uh, here is the thing. What you see right there is probably about the half of the size of what you see here is where this river crossing where they supposedly, supposedly, that's what they documented. They drowned. You could document the stuff like this for the different reasons. They did not document this as a location of the drowning. No, sir. Uh, this is just the wideness of the river I'm using as an example. If I was to go and uh, state how in approximately in meter wise, I would estimate the river would be wide. I would say uh, that uh, the river was about 50 meter wide where this crossing um, took place. It was actually quite wide, uh, quite a beautiful place, uh, but really, 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 based on my observations, already had a tremendous, tremendous impact. Uh, the level of the water, the rain, and so on. How much was it? How much fluid was inside? What, what exactly was it? It was a very, really beautiful place. Or you can document the stuff like this to have absolutely um, 
no buildings, no such a stuff. This is just the green stuff, the green. Uh, you're talking about the green stuff and stuff like this. I mean, this is just a, a like a tourist location, basically, is what we are talking about. It's just a tourist location, not nothing like you see right there. You understand? It's like a river, a river like a river, basically. Okay, you know, it could be like this, you know. Uh, the boat that capsized, uh, they did in continuation, they delivered some money in an area because the King Bumi Ball continued to, the royals continued to visit and they started to build and contribute to local economy. Yeah, but really, when it all started in 95, in 96, and 97, 98, 2000, the capital, the money started to come, the investment started to pour sometimes in, uh, you know, I estimate like in 2002, something like this, I would say. Yeah. The village I have spoken about on the left side, if you go from Bangkok, just like I demonstrated earlier, um, that was the first one that they sipped some money on it. This little village turned out little by little into the city with these visitations, you know. Uh, and then there was also some money that dropped also on the right side of the river bank, you know. The right side of the river bank was nowhere as established and near anything as to what it applied to. Um, whatever was on the left side. Uh, which was this uh, village and settlement. Entire village, everybody was involved. They had to do MK Ultra to get the money. MK Ultra, you know, I'm gonna fucking give you MK Ultra. It was a beating, it was a terror and stuff like this. Uh, on where I was at, it would be impossible that you would get to see something like this. But then again, rivers could be a subject to a heavy rip currents and all kinds of currents. Water Money started to come uh, already in 95, the uh, British Royals were there, and so on. And are totally subject to totally different weather conditions than those from 150 years ago. As you know, in an Alps, the rivers are actually dry. You could say the same just 50, 60 years ago. This river, the river that is going right in front of my nose here, Kirka River, uh, was a much bigger river than what is now. It comes to the season when fishermen are prohibited from fishing in one because fish doesn't have a place to hide anymore because the water level is so low. So the weather conditions, those of 155 years ago when compared to today, we talk about the Himalaya here and stuff like this, where the rivers go down and they roll all the way through Thailand and so on, uh, were totally, totally different when compared to today. Something like this actually might have even been maybe possible, who knows. Now, with the river flow much stronger, rain and so on, the weather conditions are not described anywhere. So the claim that servants just wouldn't fucking do anything. Possibly they even capsized the boat. Um, absolutely uh, is refuted. Uh, obviously that something happened on the river that... We say that they wouldn't do anything. Why don't you just fucking say that they deliberately drowned them? You know what I mean? What is the difference without watching, observing, not doing anything, and uh, deliberately capsizing the boat? I mean, it only makes one difference, basically. Uh, for King Dom of Thailand, of the Siam, being in a complete turmoil, you know what I mean? Like King being even afraid to admit exactly what happened because it would be like psychological reaction that actually revolt started in some part of the country. And it could just happen well that he was afraid that everybody's just going to storm him at any time and uh, behead one, basically.
because that was the only reason I see from the psychological evaluation, from the psychological point of view, which Bumibo did not want to admit, was possibility for King to just say that it was the reason that you're not allowed to touch, you know, uh, a royal as a commoner. I mean, you're gonna fucking die. I mean, if you capsize the boat, uh, if you capsize the boat, I mean, you know what I mean? And or not save the royal if the boat capsized, there is no difference for you. I mean, those servants, those bodyguards, I would say, <laughs> uh, they probably want to even return back into the palace. I mean, to put it plain and simple. Let's go. Let's continue with this stuff. This is this is such a horse shit. Excuse me. Let's continue with this stuff. That uh, King uh, was either afraid to say that the servants, the bodyguards, did uh, deliberately uh, turn the boat around. Either he was afraid to say something like this. You understand? So that he wouldn't face a backlash, attack, a violent response due to his mistreatment of the commoners in his empire. That's a very strong possibility. Cannot exclude under the circumstances. Um, or there actually was conditions where people would drown, where actually conditions exist uh, that... managed to capsize the boat, uh, in which case, if the conditions were as such, probably the people, other people, if the boat capsized, were probably busy saving their lives. And it's probably even, maybe it's both. Who knows what the issue might be. Uh, this video was also used by the King Ma and by the King Bumibo, but both kings dare to eventually proceed, they, the two dared to proceed against me, to dread, threaten me, what exactly would have been if I would screw them up and would not marry that Princess Bayre Kitty Abba's life was wasted because of me, so that she could become my wife, that she was wasted, that's how they refer to, so that she could become my life, not only that she suffered, that I destroy her life, but that her life was wasted deliberately uh, so that I would become her husband. Which statements these royals have actually affirmation of what I stated here, they have actually obtained from me uh, by asking me, consenting me in respect to Barakiti Abba if it's okay to uh, you know, the boyfriend of the Bayre Kitty Abba, um, a fellow student, eventually was caught with another lady along the way. She no longer wanted to have anything with me, I mean, and so because of the London, because of the Germans, because of the pressure they have found themselves under, um, yeah, this was the promise in 1995, you know what I mean? And now you have a Bush, uh, you have a Clinton, you have Frau Merkel, you have all these Illuminatis. They have to have a fucking excuse. They have to have some kind of fucking source, something. They can excuse their insanity, their brutality, their violence against me. And so this is the contract they basically signed with these people here. And so now is a curse. Uh, she wants to be with another guy, whatever she wants to do. Uh, I wanted her desperately to be with that guy or with the other guy. So whoever the hell, uh, so that I can leave, so that I can fucking exist, so I can get myself a woman, marry her and leave. You know what I mean? Um, I want her, yeah, fuck yeah, I, please. Uh, please marry another one. Yes, please. I was not a problem. But the problem was London. 
the people in the United States of America who did something against the Constitution, against the international treaties, that lost their sleep because of this. And so guess what happened? Question popped up. Uh, she's going to marry this and that and so on and so forth. We have to do something about it. Do you want us to set him up? Do you want us to set him up with another woman so that she's going to come back to you and this and that? Um, yeah, uh, of course, we're going to set him up. This is what the father told me. Uh, I set him up and this and that. This is the same shit. The same, the same thing as to apply it to the Balkan butcher, Mladic. Ratko Mladic, a butcher of the Srebrenica in Bosnia. Uh, was also instructed by the British Royale to use exactly the same kind of approach to obtain the statement from me in respect to her boyfriend, uh, in respect to the Srebrenica and all. So they, they all the time, it was all the time beating until you would no longer even know what is your name. You definitely would not recognize your mom and your papa during MK Ultra. And then it was like obtaining through all these cows, beating severe sleep deprivation. It was obtaining the statements which they video recorded as a forms of proofs. That's how the Illuminatis worked from London. This is a Saxe Coburg Gotha Windsor Butchers. This is the German style. This is the German. This is how the Germans do with what they refer to as a commoners. This is how the lions do it. Yeah, this is the lion. The tigers, this is how the tigers do it. For this, he did threaten me. Uh, if his daughters, both of the daughters would be wasted, that he would go after me if I would not marry them and so on. Yeah, this is the way it is, this stuff. Come on, let's continue with this stuff. But... This video there is something more. really, really shady about this report. Sad enough about this report so that one could come easily to conclusions that circumstances existed based on today, based on what is presented. And the only thing that this video ends is basically is what it says right there. The king greatly greeted the death of his spouse and the funeral procession that was accordingly arranged for the Queen was possibly the most expensive funeral in the history of the Asian Kingdom. It's, they always accented their feelings, you know, their grieving, their sorrow, their emotions, you know, their, 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 their explosion of ocean of emotions, you know, the tragedy which encountered them. In reality, they butchered cancer, thrombosis, surgical uh, injuries on the left foot, in the left arm, uh, develop through damage they cause to the kidneys, to the liver, uh, into the heart area, and so on, which they have diligently repeated for no less than 30 years. This started, was done surgically beginning in 1993 in Moscow, Moscovia. That's how it all started. So let's continue with this. The that lion. servants simply would not assist um, royals deliberately due to, you know, like how can I say? I was always going into mind, forensic mind, of King Bumibol doing some forensic investigation on one. Um, it's unbelievable how he rated me as mentally ill, as insane, together with his son Maha, you know, and even daughters, everybody. Uh, how I am not cleaning the room, how I am not doing the stuff that other people do and so on. And knowing that about the toxic issues, 
be used against me on every step of the way. I'm not, not doing a gardening. Never, never bother. N don't worry about it. Don't even approach to... I don't know how you say the fresa, but... Uh, electricity. Don't even approach to a chainsaw. Don't even approach... To, they treated me like mentally retarded. Literally. So that they could go and brag and see the mistakes about me and so on. Like totally, totally mentally retarded person. There was no excuse for my ill, mentally ill behavior. Which I'm not going to say that I started to engage because there was no mental illness in one, because I produced results. However, if I would start to comply with the orders based on the damage they have done to me, then I would say, yes, then you are mentally ill. No? That's what we see. One look at the Hollywood and what do you see there? A lot of mentally ill people. Because when you are right, you must never ever allow anybody to teach you what is right and wrong. Do you understand what I stated? It goes to the core, it goes to the beginning. When you are right about something, you must never ever allow anybody to teach you what is right and wrong, especially not those that tortured you, especially not those that cause you harm, injuries, with idea to teach you one day about what is right and wrong. You understand that? And that's a, a, a prime video, a prime proof about my MKUltra case I'm going to use on how these parasites wanted I to look like and to portray themselves to the world through the eyes of me, using me basically to be seen in the world as I, myself, and using me, using basically their tactics, their filthy ways, what the field that was in me, in them, to portray me to the world. Do you understand? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a piece of the art, actually, this video, when I gave a second thought about one. Uh, that's why I'm giving a comment, a feedback on one. Um, the king, the king, obviously, his wife that suffered this drowning with a child, obviously is omitting a lot of stuff there. Uh, and obviously is trying to look like a cool, like somebody that was injustice against one and so on. Uh, and uh, a commoner. This is all video that was all done according to excerpts which was written, all, all orchestrated, all went through with the royals, with the king Bumibol was the one who orchestrated this video. He worked on this video several years. King Bumibol worked on this uh, video probably for about seven years, to be completely exact, before the video finally was released out with this individual who verbally had voice, who spoke about this incident with the, with the queen, you know? Seven years. It took him past seven years before the video finally was released. And it was actually completely he studied on how I saw it, why I saw it this way, and how he alone could approximate uh, this incident to the world as much as possible through my eyes, basically, not for me to see myself, obviously, in one. Uh, actually, if only possible, even give ignorant as much as possible common to one. Uh, but for the world to accept this, like, in a way uh, that, like, it was, like, injustice and it should be and it was corrected and so on and so forth you know um, obviously uh, 
these people have a problem for a very, very long time ago. Uh, they had to adjust themselves, uh, not only to United Nations, after committing atrocities against commoners, uh, but a rather to what most likely would even result in a termination of uh, royalism. And I had to uh, accept uh, commoners as uh, equal. In fact, due to malicious and criminal genocidal history these people produced against humanity, against the commoners, not only commoners, but especially against other races, nations, and so on, slavery we're talking about, uh, in a certain ways, they started to even feel they were losing the privileges uh, when compared to uh, commoners. So they start to feel like uh, they need to get this privileges, special privileges back in place and so on. Uh, the least uh, they could possibly afford is to fall behind, especially as they continue to cause uh, problems around the world, like such as the one, let's say, in Ukraine today. You know? But those are the words in the Mideast. Those are the words that uh, ranged all the way to Afghanistan, uh, Libya, Egypt, uh, Algeria, um, I should say Tunisia and so on. Uh, we have seen a lot, a lot of a number of uh, wars, Balkan wars and so on. All the wars, these are the people that not only witness them, but here and there also give some authorizations that are contrary to goal of United Nations, especially, or I should say the purpose for which United Nations were established upon the end of the World War II. No more as a League of the Nation, but as a United Nations. So if it's about the nations, about the commoners, then I would advise United Nations to stick rather than to corruption, uh, in which this family even alone was through donations involved. I conditioned my life through donations to United Nations. Lions, more likely liars than lions. And I am also going to add to this stuff fact that um, I'm not going to go and, and, and record this. So, so this is this is the history uh, where the biggest this river is. Uh, and uh, uh, the river that that uh, is about like less wide than this here where about something like this yeah when it's when it goes up it's something like this and so on uh, the, the thing about it is where the incident supposedly happened yeah uh the thing about it is i'm gonna say to you even less than this uh, uh the thing about it is i'm gonna say to you uh at this a location here so that i'm gonna use this also as an ultra proof was the widest location on uh, supposedly on this river uh, based on a King Bumi Ball who also took me to investigate uh, the river. So this was like the widest uh, location. However, ladies and gentlemen, 150 years ago, uh, to support this claim absolutely here, uh, Contrary to deliberate drowning of these people, which obviously the king uh, is trying to imply in uh, through, uh, you know, lion and uh, uh, by not stating that most likely was deliberate drowning. Uh, Obviously, these people have even problems today. If they couldn't even come up to state, you know, or or speculate on any issues like this, I, I don't know, man. Um, 
I guess they want to look like very special. Uh, like I said, like like the video said, lions and so on, not liars. Uh, less conspiracy theories, perhaps, uh, even for what uh, 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 a normal human being could easily anticipate might have been actually deliberate drowning of the family. Um, and there is really nothing royal in these people. Um, Were they supposedly drowned? It is should have been the widest location, the widest location where something where nothing like this could possibly, uh, when you see those waves, could possibly come happen, uh, realize itself. Those waves, those those waves like this that you see, they stated for the Adriatic Sea for the. Listen, listen. Uh, when I talked about this stuff here. Uh, this is the river I'm talking about is up in the north, uh, far, far up in the north and actually surrounded where actually even the hills are present somewhat. You know what I mean? Uh, nothing like this anywhere uh, further down south toward Bangkok where the land is basically flat and so on. So this is like all the way up, up, up somewhere. Uh, they had this meeting. Come on, man. If I get this internet and I'm going to demonstrate you. Whew. Let's just uh, uh, roll this. And when there, the picture comes enough, I'm going to demonstrate. Uh, for the Miami <laughs> Beach, where it was, it looked like. like. Uh, and uh, was trying to portray maybe knowing that I'm going to get myself into this. And I found this because I browsed the news about the Princess Bairi Kitiapa. Uh, just the 24-hour Princess Bairi Kitiapa, 20, the last 24 hours, and I saw this stuff, this video. Um, and since this was involved in MK Ultra, this video was released finally in 2002. Uh, like I said, after like seven years of a thorough King Bumi Ball uh, going back and forth uh, down the river, also having me uh, looking for all the locations where it could be possibly another location that 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 it would be. But you know, ladies and gentlemen, uh, 150 years ago, landscape, river landscape was different than what it is today, uh, with river high uh, and stuff like this. Um, do you think if they did capsize the boat? Uh, these people, which is not necessary, they did not capsize the boat. I'm not saying that they did not capsize the boat, but if they did capsize the boat deliberately, uh, you don't think that uh, there will be some other punishment? I mean, obviously, they were jailed. Yeah, jailed. Uh, the, the key word for the jailed is obviously killed, right? Uh, obviously, he didn't want to say killed. They were jailed and uh, diplomatically addressed uh, deliberate capsizing of the boat with waves that you see right there uh, to uh, obviously, as I earlier speculated, was to avoid a possible... Okay, okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip a little forward. Uh, up. Not only because there, it does me no good, this stuff... Deliberately explained. and so other... Yeah, uh, very, 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 very well, right here at the top of the video, what this shit was, was all about. And for the rest of it, you can see here the top news. That one belongs to Father. Uh, this, be you know, uh, her behavior was adjusted to through anxiety she served. Okay, this her. is a good part, uh, too. Uh, the video. Supposedly that what should uh, spark uh, maybe feelings, emotions in me, anxiety in respect to losing a Thai, potential Thai queen and so on and so forth. Um, it was all about, well, you're going to say this and you're going to say that and uh, that's going to be the end for us and this and that. 
Um, yeah, I don't have any any other uh, words I would use for that. I I uh, I feel um, I have explained. Uh, yeah, uh, very 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 well right here at the top of the video what this shit was, was all about and for the rest of it you can see here the top news that one belongs to father uh, these people have destroyed my family my life entire family everything destroyed me 33 years left me with broken health um, I hope for Princess Bairi Kitiaba she will find peace uh, because I feel that she was a wild a child, a, a product of her uh, father, let's say. Uh, I remember her sister, Siri Vanavari, let's say. Uh, her father, Maha, complained about a daughter. Princess Bayer Kitiaba that does not obey him enough and um, started to educate through MU by using MK Ultra brainwash the Princess Siri Vanavari since she was a baby, uh, insists in developing in her um, crazy uh, anxiety issues that would uh, rather handle her brain. Uh, uh, you know, uh, her behavior was adjusted to through anxiety. She served her father, Maha, Vairanga Korn, um, while the daughter, Princess Bayer Kitiaba, was uh, wasted through. Uh, Issues that uh, King uh, Bumibol and uh, King uh, Maha needed uh, for their business. Uh, basically, whatever the British royals inquired, required, uh, as per my case, for me to look like. Because of, you know, doing the stuff like this to the commoners, uh, it's more than breaking the laws, basically going and affirm acts of genocide against one. Uh, requires certain... Uh, elements to be triggered to protect your royal well-being from a commoner. Um, maybe I should rather say to uh, against yourself because there's something wrong with you for you to have done stuff like this. Uh, but as I stated, these people shouldn't be in the United Nations allowed inside of the United Nations because of the past humanity had experienced. Uh, throughout its existence uh, I am Slovenian I'm Eastern European I'm aware, well, I am not white I don't consider myself as a white uh, I'm just Eastern European I am Slovenian look at that what's happening here uh, in not Aryan I'm not a white Aryan Elon Musk from South Africa from some apartheid state or uh, you know, Peter Thiel or, or whatever that might be, or, or maybe a Russian, let's say, Sergei Brin or something like this, uh, convenient, uh, as per convenience when it comes to, uh, you know, as I say, the Eastern European, you know, it, it doesn't break down. You know, if they need you for the global agenda, you can come as handy as Sergei Brin, you can come as handy as Mark Zuckerberg. You can come as handy as whoever they need for the time being to get to advance their things, yeah? But I'm just I'm just a little guy from Slovenia who will, however, not let go. A little commoner nobody is what I am uh, against so many lions. And I'm so proud about it. Um, why is it not giving me a chance? Dear, dear, dear. Um... I don't know where I should anything add to this video here. Um, Princess Bayer Kitiaba was, uh, she was wild uh, back in her day. 
she had a, a Rottweiler at one point. Yeah, Rottweilers are dogs that uh, big as dog. When she got her apartment straight together, uh, she started her independent life. Uh, she she expressed her disgust for me. She was very very pissed off with me sometimes in year. I think the year was like, um, my goodness, the year probably was like, I don't know, man, maybe 2007, something like this. It, I, since 2005, it was just Make it more fights and all kinds of stuff that one possibly could count for. So she brought me to her beautiful building, a, a new place that she got. And uh, right now she is playing with the German Shepherds, you know. But back in the day, oh, look at that. Uh, are we going to give this throughout its history existence? Some of the fucking this throughout its history existence are coming right from the top. The sound of the fuck is going on. Uh, I am going to go ahead and gonna plug the fucking camera on so that you understand that right here below is adapter. It's fucking impossible that I wouldn't get no internet. It's laptop, it's working on a battery, okay. So somebody disabled some more adapters. I guess this video is not, not the video that the royals are gonna embrace. Oh! You know, you can be the sanest man and under conditions that this royale, royals, alliances, they call themselves, you can look as what's mine, the fucking insanest. And that's what makes them strong. Then what kind of world do we live in? It's a question for United Nations. It's a question for authorities. Oh, man, what? If I don't know anybody that would be able to bring something like this about, prove the case, actually, and be treated like this by the police. Pity, lie on say. Uh, all I want to say to you is, if you knew how mentally ill these people were, if you got to know these people, you would understand that all the problems the world, sickness, diseases the world have faced throughout its history, existence, are coming right from the top. Everything, the world would be such a, so much better off, such a better place. If these people only spend life like a commoners one fucking day going through what commoners go through. Uh, but it's always a cynicism. It's always, uh, it's like a Schwarzenegger that walked inside of this uh, Auschwitz and so on uh, and was, it was expressing his concerns and disgust with the Nazis and so on and so forth. But it's exactly, exactly, exactly the same shit, man. They act like they go through something that they know what life of the commoners is, and they do. To the degree that they know exactly how to exploit, take advantage of. Nothing more than that. Uh, what you, what I can use you to get out of whatever I need, basically. Uh, it, the world would be so much better, such a better place, if they only would gone the one fucking day I had in my life. And so for you to say that you understand and this and that, you don't fucking understand anything. I also don't, un don't allow people like this to understand shit. That recognition, these royals are never going to get from me. For all these reasons, yes. Uh... What I want to say to you is my goal is not to damage princes. Is this shit real? Eh? Maybe they disconnected me the browser or something. I'm going to use the Firefox to see maybe they that that's going to work. Uh, this is a crazy stuff, man. We're going to use the Firefox. Mm -hmm.
Um, Rottweilers are big ass dogs. And uh, when I encounter this bright to be mine, princess. With her black beast over there in front of her apartment. That threatened me. The dog is going to rip me in pieces, man. A young babe that I should. And I wanted to marry her for so long. Uh, boy, I freaking lost. All the interest. Um, I don't know. There is no internet, man. It's working. There you go. Uh, this is this is this was her first dog like this, and it was a beast. <laughs> and she dead threatened me with a fucking dog, holding him, and the dog was launching himself at me and so on. Dude, inside of her new apartment, that father got her. Year was two thousand and six, and it was a life, a all new life of her on a credit card. <laughs> that dog is gonna tear my ass apart. At the United Nations that she owes me and so on and so forth. So this is just it was totally, totally, totally wonderful. This is how it all started. But listen, it's not her fault. I'm gonna say to you something, this is not her fault. The chaotic the chaotic circumstances at home. That's why I said rough neighborhood that she came from dictated her this as a way of life. Dictated her this as a survival. Something that she had to use or would be indefinitely destroyed. <laughs> but imagine a commoner, not a lion, but a commoner actually, a person, a regular mortal. Could you possibly imagine this video that you have seen about the queen that was destroyed, wasted 150 years ago? Did not have, all true, it was extremely harmful, and it was explained to her why it was intended, what the video was intended for. Probably even so that she would see herself protected by this video. Was psychologically wise, more harmful to her than to me. Now, I have gone through way too much stuff. And uh, this case itself, the demands from the Berlin, from the Saxe Coburg Gata, from the Londonia, London, Vladimir Putin from Russia. They were too fucking high, man. She was the one she paid ultimately the price because under normal circumstances, she's like her friend from Dubai, Princess Latifa. She would have a normal family life, you know what I mean, next to the husband. She would have to be hiding with some boyfriend behind and this and that and so on. Opposed as a single, so those in Berlin, in London, could sleep at night. Gesturing basically that they do have, in fact, something, you know, that there is some sort of legitimacy on their side in front of the ever-growing publicity throughout the world she suffered because of this stuff and she learned and that's why it would be a waste to waste something like this i learned because she's the first royal actually that a thai royal that's actually i'm not gonna say a commoner i'm not gonna even say i don't want to say that she's closer to the commoners I'm nobody to deprive of anybody anything in this world. I don't have that kind of right. God did not give me the right to deprive you of your views, of any kind, whatever views you have. There's only one thing I do not respect in this world. And that's basically filthy criminal ethics that some people are abusing basically their authorities their powers that's the only thing that i will not bend in front of it but i'm not here to deprive you of your royal status of your communist status of your buddha status of your pope status or whatever status you have 
on TikTok, on whatever it is, as long as you play by the rules, as long as you embrace people. But I'm afraid you're not going to get anywhere because the people that do this kind of shit don't get anywhere in life. You have to do some filthy stuff for Illuminati. It's for you to be actually seen on stage because that's how they open the door to you. They design themselves so well according to their taste. According to their needs, I should say, not even preferences. So, I'd rather to see her succeed. I'd rather to see her to grow. I'd rather people of Thailand to get the opportunity that would approximate them closer to the developed world, such as say, Japan, Korea, let's say, China, let's say, so that they could leave more and more for prosperity. I'm not here to take your princess. I'm not here to damage your princess. I'm not here to hurt. And what I was going to say, finally to finish the thought, I'm glad that her views as a first generation, as a first person, she managed to approximate them more to her individual taste. More to her, not to the commoner, but more to her personal views based on which she developed throughout the trips with me, next to me, during MK Ultra. Okay? So, I'm not here to do this. She's from the rough neighborhood. Despite everything, she did for her father and for grandfather. She eventually paid the price. And I think actually she even had to pay the price. Because that video that you have seen and all other bullshit they instilled in her finally would not even be as effective. They, I'm sure, I'm certain, have developed a certain degree of pathos in her. For her to see her out of the box uh, normality, I should say, not out of the box, but out of normal as much as possible and according to the taste of her father and her grandfather. Just as the case is, was, I remember, with a little Siri that was like completely absorbed with the idea that somebody's trying to hurt her daddy. Basically, when she came first, this little baby, she was a little girl, I remember her, since she was a little girl. Um, she was, she, she did this, 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 this little thing. She, she only, she was completely under this MK Ultra impression, man. This was like totally absorbed with the idea that somebody's going to harm the daddy. I mean, this was like, they designed her literally, according to what Father Maha stated me, to serve as his personal protection. I mean, totally, the, he was not actually happy with Bayra Kitty Abba. How the fuck, I do not know. Uh, suppose that she was giving him an attitude. Uh, when it comes to Siri Vanari, Vanavari, ended up in the same way as Princess Bayri uh, Not as bad, because he didn't march her through the army till her heart would give in. Uh, actually, he damaged with arrhythmia already, as she was born with, heart even deteriorated, but uh, he did not have no honest intentions with Assyria either. Uh, I mean, there's already now, finally, 18 or 19 year old kid that is out there to replace all of the family members, including the two princesses, one of which should be queen and not the other one, and so on and so forth. I mean, this fucking doing whatever the hell they feel like they want to do. They don't give a shit, really, about anybody. So, you know, Next to experience that she has, she has something also to offer to the people of Thailand. Absolutely, it's not in my interest to damage her, to hurt her in absolutely any way. I'd rather to help her if I only possibly could. But nobody's going to get right across, I'm not going to say my mind, but the stuff that I have gone through for the cost of... Uh, I, I, I explained that stuff in continuation, man. They even made fun of me when I was dying, literally inside the psychiatric hospital, and stuff like this, which was related to the money issues and so on. I mean, I don't have the words for it.
nothing, no offense taken. She removed this dog. I hope the dog is okay. I hope that somebody, whoever adopted the dog, was not placed to sleep. Uh, the dog is okay and everything is okay and adopted more friendly dogs. Okay, that was in 2000. With the princess Fiery Kitty Abba, in front of her I no longer wanted to have anything to do with her. And the year, for what I stated here, the year was like 2006. Yeah, 2006. Something like this it was. Yeah, she got her place, she got everything, and uh, was sure that... As she claimed me at the United Nations alone that she has me, that she owns me, she has me in a little bit. This dog, I hate to say, hopefully, surely not, was not placed to sleep. But she learned about that kind of attitude to be also as criminal as one possibly can be criminal. Now for the Princess Bairi Kitiaba who got involved into the environment that allows her to actually interact with the people with the United Nations, with the foreign diplomats, see a different culture. She spent time here in Europe. She liked here in Europe. Uh, she liked laws. She liked life with the commoners. She liked... Uh, that different world I came from, went to the United States, traveled Africa, have seen next to me the world. She traveled next to me everywhere. Africa, Asia, Europe. Hey, there's something going on today with the internet. I, uh, this is not the, 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 the best video. Um, uh, one that would uh, be talking about glorify basically uh, royals you know uh, and it's uh, just happened so the guy like myself that find himself on a picture that's a bad news for them uh, the worst one you boss they possibly can come across I understand I understand uh, but this is just a mirror you know uh, this uh, this this video this is just a mirror of yourself, royals. This is what the fuck you did. This is what you accomplished. This is what you you have done. This is what you did. Sorry. Not for me to disappoint you. For the mirror to exist. Uh, as for Princess Bairi Kitiaba, I am only going to say... Uh, she grew up in a very, very rough neighborhood. Very, very rough neighborhood. Uh, this uh, neighborhood, the neighborhood that the people, is, this is her sister here that you see here. This is her sister, Suri Vanavari. This one, this beautiful girl here that you see. You see, she was handled by completely by anxiety. She was, she was completely afraid about her daddy's life, that something possibly can happen to the daddy. And the same thing was with, uh, she was used like a part of the security force around the father. That's whom Father Maha, that you see right there, would trust to his daughters. They would be completely crazy about the father. And this one here, that you see Princess Bairi Kitiaba, that was outstandingly insane about her father, you know. The doll was so crazy that the father could have just walked on the street, pulled the gun out, and knocked somebody straight in front of her for no reason whatsoever. She would find a way to protect the daddy, make no mistake about it, from the commoners. Both of them were so insane. Uh, Siri Vanavari, when I say insane, I don't mean insane like insane. Beautiful child, both of these priceless girls, ladies, whatever you want to say it, priceless, literally priceless is what I mean. Because deep inside, so innocent, so clean, taken advantage of.
is what I'm trying to say, by her, by their grandfather and by the father, both of these kings who on Thailand have pronounced themselves as gods. It's crazy to think about the girls like this would think about doing anything bad to father, mom and pop or whatever. Siri Navari, Siri Navari, when she was 12 years old, she started to learn English. She learned English when she was nine. When meeting in Sarah, our house, Illuminatis from the United States of America, from all over the world, they would be joining for a party in the evening. I don't know, she was 12 or 14 years old. She would lose her mind just if somebody would say, uh, you know, when you say, a, you can say a father, or you can say daddy, or you can say dad. Is this your dad? People would come, is this your daddy? Oh, you're a princess, Siri. Oh, okay, nice to meet you, nice to meet you, nice to meet you, nice to meet you. And so you're, uh, oh, okay, so you must be a daughter of your daddy. Uh, and uh, so you must be a daughter of, a, uh, of uh, is that your daddy right there? Uh, and so on and so forth. And when she heard dad, daddy, it was like dead. In her head, it was like dead. Daddy. Dead. I'm not, I'm not laughing at Siri Vanavari. I am just talking about she alone was obviously a MK Ultra prospect, brainwashed, completely brainwashed to see the world like a dead. E daddy, what a profound effect this bullshit called MK Ultra had on her alone when she found herself in this chaotic, like I said, rough neighborhood in her own house, basically. What kind of effect that had on her? That's what I'm trying to accent. I'm not making fun of her. I love both of these girls. But from the point of view that you would rather consider this a law enforcement point of view, every police officer knows that a rookies are a product. Uh, actually, excuse me, the police officers are a product of a lot of work, investment, society itself had to obligate itself to have these rookies, new police officers, trained. This isn't solely work of the police station, but it's the work that requires police to work with the civil population so that these rookies can be brushed properly, nicely, groomed into a real police officers, into, into a police officers. You understand? Trained into police officers. You're not, you don't come from the police academy, a police officer. You don't even, you're not even a police officer when you complete basic training with another police officer and so on. You're not a police officer if you ask me till like, I would even say like two years down the road, you would still be more like a rookie than a real police officer. It takes an extensive amount of work on a police officer actually and a rookie to become a real police officer, to really know how to handle stress issues, and it's the stuff, as I stated, it's a work of, it's an investment that it takes more than police work force. It takes society to get involved, and oftentimes portray rookies, police officers, all kinds of situations, issues that they are trained so that if the real situation Derives, they know how to properly respond to one. And this is exactly with these two little girls here. It's exactly the same thing. That's why you don't waste stuff like this, especially because these two girls had opportunity to grow up next to me, see more than just a rough neighborhood. They got to meet people, they got to know the world, and learn, hopefully, what is right and wrong. Bairi Kitiaba is an attorney, is a lawyer. And uh, her little sister 
also learned her trait through what she have witnessed to. Uh, and of course also like every dog where the place is within a royal world for her for me to roughly deliberately express myself so that she can understand from the point of reality basically how their parents look upon their own children you know what i mean I want to do it this for educational purposes so that you too have something out of it. I don't know what they're going to do with you. I don't know what their intentions are, but I do wish you the best anyways. You have been trained extensively. Not only have you contributed uh, with your loyalty uh, to whatever cause uh, of your parents, of your people and so on, but you have, you have gone and you have seen something you had the ability to interact, to experience different uh, than what Dipan Korn, basically the youngest son, is going to fall into. It might be a really, really soft bed that daddy is going to prepare him when compared to the two of you, uh, but still, he's going to be, he is a fresh man, basically. who might be just given whatever the father have learned based on experience with the two of you, with all other children. If you ask me, he screwed it up. Uh, Princess Siri Vanavari, for instance, incredibly good. She was like uh, maybe 14, 15 years old, became interested in the textile industry yeah, before, before she became of the legal age, she would be frequently coming here to our house to meet the Illuminatis. And her passion became a textile industry, uh, which she learned to manipulate, probably since 16, that it's going to be she and I that we're going to work together, uh, and uh, that this is the industry that, we, that I will be working with her together, and so on and so forth, and the textile industry next to the guys that were uh, uh, oil diggers uh, <laughs> were, the, were, were, were uh, next to the people like George Bush, next to the people like Putin, that, that owners of the oil, you know, black gold, uh, did not appeal to me. The textile industry right here next door in Novo, man. So there were like company where I worked went bankrupt. There was another company that the neighbors worked went bankrupt. That was all textile industry. Everything in Slovenia went bankrupt. It was not an industry that appealed to me when compared to the oil, basically, right? Uh, gas stations did produce more, but she was so uh, by grandfather, Bumi Ball, yeah, Bumi, Bumi Ball. This is the grandfather Bumi Ball elevated because she managed to scam me into uh, yeah now they're working in this black hole it's gonna be more black and black they told me then the princess Pirikiti Alba will be removed yeah, this is this is a Bumi this is a Bumi Ball uh, you know they have a special law in Thailand it's called Les Ferre they can if you say something insulted to them, they can remove you, you know, from the internet. But, you know, before you're going to do this, you're going to come to me a little bit, to the ICC. It's called International Criminal Court. And we have some institutions also here in Europe that take care of people just like yourself. I'm not going to let you walk away from it. Those exist for the commoners. I know this is not a beautiful video, but I don't give a shit also about the language I use on the video. Look, this is the man who demanded from the young girl, 16 year old, to demonstrate him the ability to manipulate me into protesting 
textile, involvement in textile. Uh, and based on that shit that she cooked in front of the Chinese, who actually Chinese or a delegation offered them investment into Thailand to boost, to help them economically, uh, they accomplished from Americans and from others to get the money for the textile industry in uh, Thailand, uh, literally uh, triggering in Chinese a sympathy uh, and sentiment against me for my uh, like vehement rejection or have, want to have anything to do with the textile, uh, that he congratulated her and in charge her for the textile industry in Thailand. Uh, so I was just yeah, yeah for accomplishing the resentment uh, in Chinese. You know what I mean? Uh, like awakening and feeling in Chinese that I'm against the Chinese, uh, against the textile industry, because I gestured in front of Chinese that this doesn't make money, and they were like, "Yeah, very important. Uh, people have clothing and so on." Uh, it was a King Bumibol that you see right there, the father of Maha, who used the opportunity, prepare her, groomed her in Thailand for this particular opportunity, which she managed to get through really well, making me look completely stupid, uh, as if I would be against uh, accommodating people with their basic needs, such as textile. You know what I mean? The fuck I mean? She became in charge of trained into the textile, direction of the textile, because of stated, because she successfully passed a scam. Her aunt, however, that's more impressive, who was spent her life as a student, traveled at her father's request to China to study. As early as in, uh, I don't know what the year was, 90, she finished the studies, and then it was, I don't know, what, 96, 97, 98, spent time in China building conspiracy against me, in me, conspiracy against Chinese, uh, turning me against China, turning China against me with the British to create, to steer the shit as much as possible, man. This is how this stuff was. When it comes to Syrian Navarre, you also want to say, just so you know how the Father Maha did this, so maybe I'll wake you up, Siri, I remind you a little bit of your childhood. According to his, to him alone, he used the words such as in his uh, servants, associates, that he would use in the royal circle to brainwash her during MK Ultra. They subject her to MK Ultra on a words that she specially have to pay in English language. So they use a little Siri like a spy. That's why all of a sudden this little girl appeared on a stage, man. Oh, a child basically started to participate in these negotiations from the Illuminati, which I was so happy to see her anyways. Uh, always. Uh, and uh, but the thing is that this child was in charge for the father's security, as her father Ma stated me, had to pay a special attention, that's how they instructed her, to the words such as dead uh, and uh, poison. These are the first words in English that Siri Vanavari was trained to understand. So that in this international circles and stuff like this, that she... <laughs> He would be <laughs> the whole thing in this child as one would participate would actually participate to observe and listen and watch out uh drove her completely paranoid uh that if he heard hears certain words that she had to immediately alert. A uh, father, his assistant, whatever, that there was an opportunity around this international group and stuff. Come on, man. Come on, do a day. Father Maha, come on, man. 
do it. You're the most paranoid individual that I ever known, that I have a fucking known, and drove your own children insane. Let's continue with this. Just not worth, just as the King Maha, his son, stated me, as much as his dog, in a real sense of the word. Uh, as for the Chinese, uh, he threw them under the train too. Once he got the shit together, money from the West and so on, and the cheap stuff from China that he needed for the textile industry to go on inside of our house, uh, it, the Chinese investment... What I did from the Chinese side, he got it. Uh, he obtained, he got the money from the West, he got the industry running, uh, but the answer on those propositions on the Chinese side uh, to the King Booby Ball and his son Maha, they never arrived. I only heard answers like basically laughing at them in their sight and uh, <laughs> joshing me like uh, am I gonna fucking involve, uh, you know, allow Chinese to take over the industry? So I, I, I completely agree that this is your country and that this is what you serve, basically to keep things straight in your country. But you know, the money that he made through the West, from the West that he got, was by literally to make me look like a shit on their behalf in front of Chinese. You know, in the face of the Chinese. You understand what I'm saying? This little cluster fuck was clustering, the Thailand was clustering entire Asian world against me. They were doing nothing other than plotting collusion, plot against me. On every step of the way, like I said, involved all the uh, kings and queens in the Asian part of the world that break down into the business and so on. And, uh, you know, just acted like extension for the 100, 1800 London cabal, basically, British. The opportunity they offered to the Thailandese so they could have jobs and stuff like this remained only as a dream, as a pipe dream. Never came true. He was actually laughing to Chinese about that stuff. Saying that, uh, you know, other reasons in it. But this is basically how it functions when I said Princess Bairikitiaba. Uh, nobody is naive in this family here. These are not naive people. These are not stupid people. Uh, they are so procalculated that no family in the world is as procalculated other than those from London whom advice and lessons they take from is these people here. They're not, they are not stupid. They're not naive. They're not, they are not dummy dummies to any kind of issue, to any kind of crime they commit themselves to. And the only thing I can say is when it comes to the Princess Bairi Kitiaba, who, by the way, demanded from me to see myself, was it actually to see her? And this police officer that supposedly was killed, and there were several that were charged. It was a new one. This one here, there, look at that. 14 charged in the murder of the 24-year-old Chicago police officer. This news was involved in MK Ultra. this news here. And it was Princess Bairi Kitiaba, uh, who supposedly saw herself uh, in a black people very much, which is nothing wrong, that's nice, and I like that part about her. That's why it took me so much, so long, I didn't know what to do with her, really. But when I figured out that I had to even agree to the crime they performed against me on Thailand, so they could receive more and more and more money, uh, to her personally, Princess Bairi Ketiaba is an attorney, is a lawyer, when I had to uh, pay with the blood for their cash, for their money, so they could load themselves with pockets, and when she started with her father to insist me, me being locked inside a psychiatric hospital, with a video view counters blocked, with everything blocked about my existence anywhere in the internet, 
uh, to discredit me as much as possible. When she started to make f fun out of my right to employment, when she started to make fun with her father without my right to earn any kind of income through the ads, uh, through the online that people earn money, uh, webmasters and so on. Uh, when she started to make ridicule me under the circumstances, I was bleeding, literally. I couldn't even walk from those medications, psychiatric medications they filled me with due to liver and kidney damage they caused to me. The pain from those medications was so fucking severe <laughs> that I thought it's going to, if I would only turn to the right side when I slept, to the left side, excuse me, during the sleep, I would probably get a cardiac arrest. That was a hard voice, how bad it was. When it comes to the pain itself, the physical injury, um, I told my mom at home to tie me to the bed when they allow me to come from the psychiatric hospital. I asked her to please tie me to the bed. You know what kind of degree of the pain this is? Do you know why? I told her to please tie me to the bed. I told her because I have a, such a pain. I was afraid. I, didn't, I never told her this. I'm going to tell you. And I was afraid I would fall into delirium. I never knew what the fucking delirium is in my life. But the pain was so bad that I feel that it's going to all the internal organs is going to rip them apart. The pain is going to rip them apart. That's how painful it was. The saliva was running down my mouth without my even knowing, understanding. There was a whole river, the whole water that was running down from my mouth. Those, the psychiatric pills they were using to intensify the damage from the MK Ultra garbage they used to make a rather all the chemicals they used on me, all the testing and cancer, all the stuff they did, innocent, and push forward the theory that it was a psychiatric drugs that in fact destroyed me. That's how bad the fuck it was. It was so bad that I couldn't even walk from the pain. If I may like Two kilometers I have to make, I have to walk two kilometers in a terrible pain so that finally the pills would lose itself, the effect, and I could start walking more and more. And what the fuck it was when you came home and the police demanded to take another set of pills. And it went on like this from day to day, from day to day. I came to Thailand and had these people laugh in my face, basically, about the income and stuff like this. This shit was done to me not only through prohibition to earn the money through online, not only through the prohibition to the right of employment as I was looking for the job. It was actually done through the prohibition to demonstrate to the world the video view counters, the number of the visitors that visited and observed my website my YouTube channel, my daily motion channel, and other channels, and so on, they blocked me everything in life to discredit me, to destroy me, to kill me, ultimately. I was called a dead walking man. And so I decided I am going to die, but not without the fight. And she started to ridicule uh, the donation page, which I have placed on my website, that I want money, and ha, 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 and That's stuff like this. When I think about that stuff, man, it was something that moved inside of me that I decided also a video like this one has to come to life for the people to realize that these people are up to no good. Um, I am glad that she started to see herself in a figure that you see here. This was a police officer, this beautiful girl here that you see. You know, 14th charge with the murder. Uh, hopefully, it was just the MK Ultra news that it's been. When you already see, start to see yourself like this, it's already a step forward. You know what I mean? It's already a step forward. This is already a plus when you start to see yourself as at least something like this. At least when you want to start to look like this, it's already a step forward, even if you're not. But from the rough neighborhood that she came from, trust me, it's a step forward.
There was nobody more criminal than the royals from Thailand. No royal, no dictator. Nobody was as criminal. Okay, Gaddafi was just as insane. Saddam Hussein was just as crazy. But, man, uh, <laughs> rehearsed at this point in time, because this is what I was told. Princess Bairi Kati Aba is going to depart with uh, exactly what you see here, this type of news. She's in coma since December, supposedly. You know. um, I will not allow any stuff like this. Uh, the only positive that I can count to Princess Bairi Kati Aba is that uh, she did move away from the family on her own, on a place of her own. Uh, meeting all the people she dealt with and different issues throughout the world, she did grow up, she did become more mature, she did mature, became more normal person, understands the problematic about the world, she has ability and willingness to relate to other races, this is the stuff I like about her, it's not everything dark, uh, and as I stated, from the troubled neighborhood that Princess Bairi Kitty Abba is, through seeing what was done to me and so on, she probably is the most qualified, absolutely is, of all of them. She is the one who should take charge in Thailand uh, and bring Thailand closer to something like in Japan. At one point in time, that, that uh, having a freedom grant her a different... Uh, uh, approach to what life is is what I was brainwashed by United Nations representatives uh, such as different you know having a stronger uh, relation not a grip on a commoner but stronger relation understanding of the commoners uh, because you know the mirror you know mirror exists uh, and so um, I hope she's going to get well. Uh, I hope she's not going to... I am looking for that uh, police officer lady here. Uh -huh. uh, I hope uh, he's not going to take off from the stage. And so I hope that Thai nation is going to have something out of her that will be uh, something productive for Thailand that is going to come out out of so many years of uh, bullshit. Excuse me, I don't express myself different. You know, if i watching this video. Exactly. Thanks for watching this video. We're going to end here. Um, I, I had to make impression, a strong impression about something that could be actually rather misinterpreted heavily uh, due to my post here, which I demonstrated to you. Uh, it's not going to have police. This individual went on to train police officers in Thailand on how to apply psychological uh, pressure on a uh, people of Thailand and so on, how to psychologically handle them as an over. Uh, as an over Mr. Police, uh, Director, Janice Ogulin and so on. Uh, next to psychiatry, next to pharmaceutical company, which is Next to me, that participated in MK Ultra and extended its assistance to Thailand and so on. Next to the psychiatrists that give a total base to the uh, Thai pharmaceutical industry developing uh, psychiatric drugs, trained Thai psychiatrists on how to handle people. He was also the police director that traveled, imagine this, to Thailand, no, from no almost, so basically with other police officers, later also from Ljubljana and so on, to train the Thailand police on psychological uh, use, uh, psychological, what kind of psychological approach to use to handle crowds, people, and so on, uh, how to, you know, um, something I wouldn't agree with it. You want to learn what law enforcement is, you really do have to look into the United States of America. That's where the law enforcement is.
is for myself, American law enforcement is the number one law enforcement in the world. This is one thing I like. I like American law enforcement. Uh, there was a time when Mr. Brown in California, uh, a patrol, a highway patrol, retrieved 3,500, 3,500 US dollars that have fallen me from the truck inside of my shoes and have handed them to me with his uh, co-worker, with his fellow officer, straight back into my hands and so on. They are a law enforcement. This is a police. Okay. Uh, you want the real training in a law enforcement, how it all works? Then you do have to take course with American law enforcement. That's what I'm saying. I don't have anything else I would say uh, in respect to this video here, which I have produced to cover uh, for what you see right here. <coughs> this comment here on the bottom for the post which I posted yesterday uh, in respect to this video here too on a TikTok. And so I am leaving you. Stay well. Take care of yourself, whatever it is that you are. I'm going to play you this TikTok video one more time. As you absolutely am using this for MKUltra purposes as a proof that I was in Thailand, that I even investigated, uh, was part of this investigation. 1995, the British royals uh, traveled to this uh, village. Uh, where this drowning supposedly happened, you know? Thailandia, Thailand. Let me demonstrate to you basically more or less the area where that village is. I didn't go, I didn't bother with it. Maybe sometimes I will. Maybe if it's necessary to sit with the police to investigate, to go further over all this stuff, I will do it. I might actually do it. But there is so much other stuff I got to do that I wouldn't waste my time uh, on this issue either. Uh, but it started in 1995 with the British Royals when it traveled there. Um, little village uh, with the center of the village. Um, I don't know if it was in 97, something like this, they they had to open the bank, like a small, tiny little bank, uh, maybe to exchange the money or whatever the case might be. Uh, the British popped up, there was money. You know what, uh, you probably, this is probably in an uh, area of Sukhothai province, what we were talking about. You see, if you look at this, hills, the, the hilly area, uh, you're probably talking about the Sukkot Han or Pitasonoluk. Pitasanulok. You see Pitasanulok? Probably, I would say, it's either in this province or it's probably, it could be in Sukkothai. It's Sukkothai. Probably, I think it's in the Sukkothai. What is this Sukkotai anyways? Sounds already familiar to me, Sukkotai. Yeah. You know, because the Russian plays are Sukhoi, and Vladimir Putin was a guest in a city of the Sukkotai all the time, uh, province Sukkotai all the time. And so if I would get to that city again, let me just quickly... Uh, I ran through in hope that I would actually see this uh, Putin all the time loved in Thailand he traveled all the time Thailand back and forth with the Lavrov with Medvedev the vacation frequently was always Thailand always and forever was Thailand so it's not difficult probably for you to figure out even the Thai king assured me it would be Ukraine they would support uh, what and to whom, what purposes Thailand really, really served and serves.
okay so that's all i wanted to say for this video we are always in time with this stuff you know let me see something else uh, even russians brainwash me on on uh, and what i have to do for mk arch and stuff like this hey, 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 crazy crazy that's it ladies and gentlemen the date already is may 12 2023 it's right now but 20 actually 20 minutes to zero five hundred hours this was provided as an addition to the comment i made to portray the whole thing from perspective as it should be seen a Thai princess by Rikiti Abba is not to be mistaken since she is in a coma beginning December the 14th of 2022 uh, with my father who truly is on a feeding tube suffering harshest circumstances a real real problems exactly because of people like this it's not to be mistaken with my father he really is my 91 year old father they really really have him for the throat this allowing me to actually even travel to Ljubljana to seek police assistance at the special department against corruption at a human rights ombudsman visiting them personally and so on that's a bullshit not to be mistaken with a real case princess by Diaba insisted me she would be actually even in slovenia where she is an ambassador for thailand austria slovenia czech republic investigating me lodged next door to our house and so on and so forth even that's the kind of stuff they insisted me would be the case thanks for watching this video till next time things a lot easier and maybe we're gonna stop it somehow some way i apologize ladies and gentlemen video what will be shut down are you sure you wish to exit all streams recordings will be shut down what kind of a stream recordings there is no stream recordings what the hell are you talking about there is only one open start streaming i did not start one but as i stated uh i didn't need no what i downloaded from the microsoft windows uh, original windows uh, a license for this windows just as bill gates promised me the case is going to be only if i would keep damaged hard drive for the cost of damaged hard drive so it's doing what streaming or recording currently is after all streams recording will be shut down I don't want uh, I want to know what the hell is going on here and